Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today's video is an intermediate deep stretch and we'll also have some affirmations at the end. I'm trying to uh, record more intermediate and advanced videos here and there, but if you'd like access to longer and more challenging videos, consider joining my membership, especially as a Rose Quartz, a Rose Quartz member. That's where I post my most challenging practices. There's handstand drills on there and challenging vinyasa flows. So check it out with the link in my description box. And let's go ahead and get started with some breath. So we'll come to a seated position. You can close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Take a second deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And one more deep inhale. And exhale. And next inhale, take your right hand, rest it on the mat beside you, and let your left ear fall to your left shoulder. Maybe even take that right arm, bring it behind your back to deepen the stretch. Feel free to find some movement in the neck space here. Maybe a gentle nod. Inhale, exhale, release, bring your left hand to the ground. Let your right ear fall to your right shoulder. Staying here, or you maybe you bend that left arm behind your back. Inhale. Exhale, release, bring the hands back to the knees, and we'll move in a stirring motion to the right. So start to circle your head and your hips, bringing your shoulders into the movement. You can inhale as the spine arches, exhale as it rounds. Good, let's switch directions. Come back to a neutral position. From here, float your body up to hands and knees in a table position. Tuck your toes underneath behind you, and we're gonna sit back on the heels. So doing this toe sit here, stretching out the toes and the feet. This is intense on the toes and the feet. So if you need a break, come to the hands, float your body forward for a moment. We'll be here for a few breaths. You can just rest your hands on your legs. Uh, if you need to, you can pull those pinky toes forward. Sometimes they get a little trapped. A couple more breaths. From here, shift your weight forward onto the hands. Bring the tops of the feet flat. And then we're going to sit back for Thunderbolt Pose on the heels. Staying just like this or bring your hands on either side of your hips and start to shift your weight back, lifting your knees off of the ground. We'll feel a stretch in the ankles, the top of the feet. If you want, maybe those hands even come to your knees. Uh, 
and inhale exhale relax bring the knees back down let's float our body forward onto the hands and knees in the table position again and we're going to thread the needle here so take an inhale extend the right arm up exhale bring it behind the left arm right ear right shoulder come down and then from here kick your left foot out to the side and grab that big toe with your right hand staying here or bend that left arm behind your back more breaths inhale exhale left hand comes back down left leg steps back let's press into the left hand coming back up to table we'll do the other side extend the left arm up inhale exhale left arm comes behind the right left ear left shoulder come down to the ground Extend the right leg out to the side. Grab the toe with the left hand. Right arm could bend behind your back. Inhale. Exhale, release, right hand comes back down. Press back up to a table position. We're going to sit back on those heels again. This time, bring the hands a few inches behind the toes and start to lift up through the hips. Press through the hands, open the heart, roll the shoulders back. So this is almost like this modified Ustrasana, a modified camel pose. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Sit back on the heels again. Float your body forward. Tuck the toes under. Lift the hips up and back for Adho Mukha Svanasana, Down Dog. Taking a couple breaths here. And you can pedal your feet out, shifting your weight from one foot to the other. Let's extend the right leg back, inhale. Bend the knee, open the hips, so let the right foot start to come over to the left. Lower the right shoulder down, trying to keep your shoulders level. And from here, we'll float our body forward, resting the right knee in between the hands, for Ekapada Rajaka Patasana, Pigeon Pose. Extend the left leg back. Inhale, small back bend here, open the heart. Exhale, start to lower down to the forearms. And then from here, we're going to bend this left leg and reach back with the left hand. So we're down on the right forearm, left foot is grabbing the left hand or reaching forward for it if you have a yoga strap or a belt that can assist you in reaching your foot if you need to wrap it around your foot and grab the end of the strap instead now if you want a little more you can come up on the hand here maybe you bring the foot inside of the elbow couple more breaths inhale exhale release I'll take this right shin bring it more parallel with the front edge of your mat and then we're gonna swing this left leg around and stack it on top so coming to a fire log position so trying to stack your left foot on top of your right knee, your left knee on top of your right foot. 
If you have a lot of space in between your knees, you can rest a block underneath the knees. We'll take an inhale, long spine. Exhale, start to fold forward for this fire long forward bend. couple more breaths inhale exhale swing this left leg behind I'm gonna tuck this left toe under and extend this right leg back so now we are in down dog again Adho Mukha Svanasana and we'll do that on the other side. So take an inhale, extend that left leg back. Bend that left knee, open the hip, and that left foot comes over to the right. Lower the left shoulder down. And then we'll float our body forward. Left knee comes in between the hands. Right leg extends back. Or Ekapada Rajaka Patasana, Pigeon Pose. Coming up on the hands, taking a small back bend first. Inhale. Exhale, lower down to the forearms. And then you can reach back and grab the right foot with the right hand. And if you like a little more, you could come up on the left hand and maybe that right foot comes inside the elbow. A couple more breaths. And we'll release the right foot. Come on to the left hip a bit. Let that left shin be parallel with the front edge of the mat. Right leg swings around and rests on top for our fire log pose. So knees and feet are in line with each other. Remember to place a block underneath your knee if there's a lot of space in between. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, we'll fold forward in our fire log position. Couple more breaths here. Okay. Let's come back to a seated position. Swing that right leg behind us again. Tucking that toe under and making our way back to down dog. Couple breaths and down dog. Shift your weight from one foot to the other. Ugh. Take an inhale. Exhale, float your body forward to Palakasana, plank pose. And then we're going to come to Vashistasana, side plank. So come on the right edge of your foot. Left foot stacks on top. Extend the left arm up. And then we're going to bring the left leg up, lift the left leg off the ground. Look towards the top left corner of your mat and gently step your left leg, your left foot there. Good. 
We'll pivot up onto the right toe. Both hands will be inside of the left foot for lizard pose. Uttam Prasthasana. Bring your chin parallel to the floor, your gaze forward. And feel free to find some gentle movement here. A couple more breaths in your lizard pose. And then from here, we'll move into Kamat Karasana, wild thing. So start to extend this left leg back and then bring the left toes over to the right. Left knee bent, right leg straight. Extend the left arm up and back. Lift through the hips. Good. And inhale, exhale, coming back to Palakasana Plank, and lift those hips up and back for Down Dog again. Taking a couple breaths here. Maybe lifting the wrists, shaking them a bit. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Inhale. Exhale, fold your body forward for plank. And then we'll move into Vashistasana. So shift your weight into the left side. Right foot rests on top of the left. Left arm, right arm extends up. Good. From here, lift your right leg. Look at the top right corner of your mat. Step your right foot there. Good. Both hands come down inside of the right foot. You can also come down to the forearms here, if you like. Just find some movement. Good. A couple more breaths. And from here, start to extend the right leg back. Bend the knee, bring the right toes over to the left. Right arm up and back for Kamat Karasana. Wild thing. Lift those hips. Good. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower the right hand down. Come back to plank. Lift those hips up and back for down dog. And inhale, exhale, drop the knees down, big toes together, knees wide, both the hips back towards the heels, extend the arms forward for Balasana, child's pose. Inhale, exhale, shift your weight forward, make your way to a seat, and then we'll come down to our back with the knees hugged in. Rocking side to side here. Then we'll finish up with a plow pose. So keep your knees hugged in, start to lift your hips off the ground and bring your hands underneath your hips, making the stand with your elbows, feet extend up towards the sky, you can stay here or let those feet start to fall behind you for plow. Good. Trying to bring the hips somewhat over the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, make your way back down to your back. You can release your knees, bring them flat to the ground. Let's do a couple windshield wipers, just moving our knees from one side to the other. And 
inhale curl yourself into a ball inhale hold exhale release to shavasana you can also come to a seat if you like and from here you can close your eyes let your body relax take a deep inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth deep inhale through the nose exhale out the mouth One more deep inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. Come back to your natural breath. Just allowing your body to be fully relaxed at this time, allowing yourself to let go. And while you're here, I'll read some affirmations, which you can repeat silently to yourself or aloud. I choose to think positive. My best is enough. I have everything I need right now. I love and respect my body. I treat myself with kindness. Take a deep inhale, breathe in those affirmations. Exhale, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And if you're laying down, roll over onto your favorite side using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment to reflect on your practice, revisit those affirmations, and to extend some gratitude towards yourself for practicing self-care and self-love today. And when you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seat again. And together, we'll sweep the arms up overhead. Inhale, let the hands meet. Exhale, the hands down to heart center. Namaste. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me for this intermediate deep stretch. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what the difficulty level was like for you. Check the links in my description box about becoming a member of my channel, my DJ channel, and there's also a link to Black Yogi Nico Marie merch. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. Peace and love.